everybody, thank you so much for joining us once again. My name is Tendi, and this video is sponsored by CallCenterAddict.com, helping individuals like you find work at home call center jobs. So this is my third lesson on how to succeed as a virtual call center agent. If you haven't watched um, my past two past videos, make sure that you go to CallCenterAddict.com. There's a link below here. You can actually find the videos um, dealing with how to succeed as a virtual call center agent. If you want to just, I'm just going to actually give you a, a quick snippet of the videos. The first one was, fake it till you make it. If you're shy, if you're anxious on the phone, customers can feel it and they know when we're anxious and then they just want to eat us alive. So every morning, just wake up and just say to yourself, I am a successful call center agent. I know what I'm doing on the phone and I am confident. The second video was de it dealt with um, how to handle system technical issues and system failures and, you know, how to just be calm through your computer freezing, you know. Um, so watch that video. It's very informative and it's really, really good. The third one, which I'm doing now, is taking your training very seriously, how to actually succeed once you go live. So when you get your job offer um, as, a virtual call center uh, as a virtual call center agent, you will go through a training period. Some companies are two weeks training period, some companies are four, six weeks training period. I just want to encourage you that during that time, I, you have to take all the training materials and all the training time that you've given as a virtual call center agent extremely serious because once you go live if you don't know how to work the system firstly secondly if you don't know your company product thirdly if you don't know company policies and procedures you will find yourself in a in a terrible situation either the customer will know that you don't know what you're talking about and then they'll go crazy on you and then you'll have a bad day or you have the company realize that you didn't take your training seriously and then they will let you go. Companies cannot afford to um, bear and, and carry the mistakes of virtual call center agents on a daily basis. So if you're constantly making the same mistake over and over again, companies will terminate your contract, whether you're working for a W-2 as a W-2 employee or as an independent contractor. So it's very, very important to take your training time very seriously. During training, what companies also do is they usually have a buddy-up system where you will work with another call center agent and you'll do conduct role play. During role play, take that very seriously because once you go live and you take that first call, thank you for calling PwC Company. My name is Tempi. How may I assist you? It's lights on after that. There's no taking it back and the customers will come and give you questions after questions and you have to solve those problems for the customers. So I really encourage you to take the, the training time very seriously. Give a hundred and a thousand percent of your time and your concentration and your energy during training period and you will succeed as a virtual call center agent. So I want to thank you so much for watching our videos. Please visit us at callcenteraddict.com. Send us emails, ask us questions, send us feedback. We'd love to hear from you and I hope to see you soon at our next video. Bye.